Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's so great to have you here. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do me a favor and hit that red button that says subscribe and join our family. We would definitely love to have you here. So tonight I'm gonna get, well it's nighttime for me. I'm gonna get right start, get right into this video and, and the topic of what I wanna talk to you guys about tonight. And my question is very simple. It's, um, the topic tonight is going to be how to make more money. Now, I don't know if that was one of your goals for the year 2018, but for myself, one of my household goals was that my husband and I, we wanted to increase our income because we have some dreams and goals that we still would like to accomplish. And although we have very good jobs that both of us, we love our jobs. We have very good jobs. Our job is just one stream of income. We don't depend on our jobs as the only stream of income. So today I'm going to share with you a tip of how you can achieve that goal of making more money in the year 2018. <clears throat> Excuse me one second. I got to drink my tea here. I'll tell you something about this tea in a minute. All right. So now I'm going to share one tip with you. And it was, this was something I heard maybe about two weeks ago. I was listening to a motivational speaker. And it was something that she said that it just resonated with me. Like I, it just... I couldn't get it out of my head because I was like, wow. All right, so this is the tip I have for you. Now, are you ready? You got to put your seatbelt on for this one. The tip is stop passing over opportunities repeatedly. I'm going to say that again. Do not or stop passing over opportunities repeatedly. Now, if you pay close attention to what I just said, it's, it's like an acronym. Each, each let, the first letter of each, of each of those words, they spell out something. It spells out the letter poor. When you consistently pass over opportunities repeatedly, then you have some poor situations in your life. You, you have situations that you're not too happy about. You know, I recently had someone that came to me. They needed to, to borrow some money because they were in a, in a financial bind. And sometimes it's not, you know, decisions that we have made. It, it could have been because of illness or somebody lost a job. You know, companies downsize and things like that. Sometimes you can't avoid things like that. But then there are some times where things can be avoided. And we find ourselves in pos positions that we're not too happy with because we have passed over opportunities in the past. Now, let me tell you a story about myself. I'm not going to talk about y'all because I don't want y'all to get mad with me. I'm going to talk about myself. Now, you guys know that I've, I'm really into the coupon and that's one way I, I am trying to save money. But um, I do coupon as a hobby, but my career is an educator. I used to be a classroom teacher. I taught school for over 10 years. And I'm going to tell you, there was a time in my career whereas um, I had gone to this workshop and it was a math workshop and, and I learned some techniques and some strategies within that workshop that I then brought back to my classroom experience. And, and I'll never forget something that the lady, the presenter said when I was at that workshop. She said, she showed us this... Um, this strategy to use and uh, she even showed us this binder of different activities that she had and she said, you know, if somebody were to create something like this, they could really sell this and make a lot of money. Well, I heard what she said, but it kind of went in one ear and out the other. So I went back to my classroom and I started implementing those strategies and I'm telling you, year after year, my students would excel in math so much so that we taught, I, th I taught third grade. Uh, my principal, we decided that they wanted me to teach every third grader in the school math. So we started switching classes. So I taught everybody math and it was three teachers on my team. Um, everyone else taught their students reading. We kept our students for reading, but they switched out for math, social studies, and science. And I'm telling you consistently every year by implementing those strategies, my students would have the top math scores or the top test scores, I should say, in the entire school. And 
my um my my scores were so good that they even made me the math coach. Now, let me tell you about that promotion. It was a promotion, but it was one of those lateral promotions. Like, they didn't give me no more money. You know, it was like, oh, Miss J, Miss Johnson, you're doing such a great job and we want you to do all this stuff. They didn't give me no more money, but they gave me this position that kind of took me out the classroom. But let me go back to this being poor, this, this poor uh, analogy. Those strategies that I use... When I was pursuing my master's degree, I I had a we had a presentation to do. And during that time when I was presenting, I brought some of the activities that I used in my classroom. And there were several of my colleagues that were in the class with me. They was like, "Oh my god. We'll buy this from you. Can I can I buy this from you?" And I was like, "Buy it from me? I mean, this is just something. I mean, it's just a little something I just created. It's just in a notebook, uh, and it's not quite finished. You know, I'm. It's a work in progress, y'all. That was an opportunity that I passed over. I'm telling you right now, in my garage, I have notebooks full of activities that could really." that I probably could be making some money off of right now, helping somebody's child. You know, and even sometimes I even think about doing some videos of me helping my own kids with their homework and stuff like that, because that is something that I am really good at. I'm not bragging about it, but you know, we all have gifts and talents. That's one of my gifts and talents. I, I know how to teach somebody something, okay? I really do know how to understand. I do have a great understanding of how to break things down so that children can understand it. But I passed over that opportunity. And, you know, I was thinking about that. It, it could be something that I could go back to when I could still, you know, create the activity book or create the app or do something I possibly still could um, and earn more money. So that is my tip. Um, like I was telling you, like this tea right here. This is a tea. This is a part of a, a new business venture that I am going I'm getting my back on track with because I started it before again I passed over an opportunity but this tea right here is a detox tea and um I've been using it and uh it's it's well let me see they're uh they're they're famous for this uh catchphrase lose five and five so you lose five pounds in five days well I've been drinking this tea for a couple of days I've already lost two pounds you see what I'm saying? So I can't let this opportunity pass me by. And sometimes we do, you know, sometimes people will come to us with ideas or business opportunities and you say, oh man, I don't want to get involved with that. You know, I'm not a salesperson. You really don't know. Have you ever tried it? I mean, like, did you really, really try it? Sometimes, now I'm going to talk about you. I'm going to talk about me. Sometimes we don't have faith. And, and belief in ourselves. It's like we have a self-image issue. And But this year, guys, we just need to come out of that shell and just do something different so that we can reach over our goals. We, we can reach our goals. You never know. The opportunity might be right there in your face and you're overlooking it. So, um, today, I'm just, and, and, um, just going to tell you. And this year, I'm not passing over any more opportunities. Last night, the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Now, whether you were going for the Eagles or the Patriots, to me, it really doesn't matter. I just want you to hear me out for the point I'm trying to make. <clears throat> now, on the Eagles team, there was a young man, um, number 17 on the Eagles team. And I was going for him simply because this young man was born and raised in my hometown, I don't live there anymore, but the town that I was born and raised in, and he actually lived in my neighborhood. Now, the little town that I grew up in, y'all, it was less than 2,000 people, okay? My graduating class was less than 100 people. It was a little country town. And last night, I saw this little boy. I call him a little boy, you know, because he's, 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 he's a young kid. I saw this young man from a little small country town win a Super Bowl ring and he scored a touchdown and I thought to myself see he didn't pass over opportunities repeatedly when it when it was time for him to practice he had, and I know where he came from okay like I said we lived in the same neighborhood I knew exactly where he lived I knew his family and all that okay but he didn't make no excuses 
He just got the job done and they soared like the Eagles. And that's what I plan on doing this year. I'm not passing over any more opportunities this year. And I guarantee I am going to be closer to my financial goals than I've ever been before. And I hope that you join me on this journey. Now, I'm going to leave a link in my description box with some information about this company. You're going to see me talking about this more and more because this may be an opportunity that you don't want to pass over. You might be interested in it, you know, and if you have something, a way that, um, you know, another way that you know that people can make money, leave a comment in the comment box. All right, guys, you guys take care. I will see you at the next video.